Welcome to the Radiation Therapy Virtual Information Session. We hope this information session will provide students with the material to help make the right career choice. Radiation therapy is one of many modalities utilized to treat cancer and other benign conditions. Radiation therapy uses high energy particles or waves such as X-rays, gamma rays, electron beams, or protons to destroy or damage cancer cells. The cells in the body normally grow and divide to form new cells, but cancer cells grow and divide faster than most normal cells. Radiation works by making small breaks in the DNA inside cells. These breaks keep cancer cells from growing and dividing and cause them to die. Nearby normal cells can also be affected by radiation, but most recover and go back to working the way they should. Currently, Broward College offers the following pathway to the radiation therapy program, which is a 22-month associate degree. Radiation therapists treat cancer and other diseases in patients by the administration of radiation. They operate highly technical and sophisticated equipment, such as linear accelerators to deliver concentrated radiotherapeutic doses to the patient's tumors. Because they work with radiation and radioactive material, radiation therapists must follow strict safety protocols to ensure that they are not exposed to potentially harmful amounts of radiation. JCERT is the accrediting body that provides the standard of academic and clinical education for the Broward College Radiation Therapy Program. JCERT strives to work together with the program to achieve a mutual goal of excellence in education. Through the process of programmatic accreditation, Educators are assured that their educational programs are keeping pace with the profession and with standards developed through national consensus. The American Registry of Radiologic Technologists is a leading credentialing organization that recognizes qualified individuals in medical imaging, interventional procedures, and radiation therapy. They offer certification and registration in a wide range of disciplines, helping people who work in medical imaging and radiation therapy to develop their careers. The registry provides the national testing and credentialing services that many states require for medical imaging professionals to practice. Students in the associate degree program and the technical certificate program will complete a national board exam, enabling them to work in the clinical setting. Most radiation therapists work full time. They keep a regular work schedule because radiation therapy procedures are usually planned in advance. The incidence of cancer increases as people age, so an aging population may increase demand for radiation therapists. Continued advancements in the detection of cancer and the development of more sophisticated treatment techniques may also lead to a greater demand for radiation therapy. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there are approximately 1,100 openings for radiation therapists projected each year on average. Many of those openings are expected due to the result from the need to replace workers who transfer to a different occupation, exit the labor force, and those who retire. This slide shows the credentialing examination pass rate, which is the number of students who pass on the first attempt. The American Registry of Radiologic Technologists Certification Examination or an unrestricted state licensing examination compared with the number of graduates who take the examination within six months of graduation. The five-year average benchmark established by the JCERT is 75%. 
This slide represents the number of graduates employed in the radiologic sciences compared to the number of graduates actively seeking employment in the radiologic sciences within 12 months of graduating. The five-year average benchmark established by the JCERT is 75%. The radiation therapist must be able to evaluate and give the correct dose of radiation to the appropriate area of the patient's body. They must acquire and maintain specialized technical skills and medical knowledge to render quality patient care. The professional level of this healthcare service requires highly skilled and competent individuals who function as an integral member of the healthcare team. Once accepted to Broward College, students will receive a letter with their student ID number. Students should utilize this student ID number to log into their Broward student account at www.broward.edu to monitor transcript evaluations and their limited access program application. Students must also monitor their Broward student email account as that is where the admissions department will communicate with students regarding their application status and program acceptance. The admissions and selection process is managed by the Health Science Admissions Department. A point system based on degree required general education courses is utilized to rank applicants. Acceptance depends on where the student falls in the point ranking system with the top ranking students being accepted. Specifics regarding applying to the program are available on the Health Science Admission page. Upon completion of the general education course, the following points are added to the grade received for a total course points. It's important that students do well in these courses. The applicant pool is large and selection is based on the highest points. The following are the points awarded for the prerequisite general education courses required to gain admission into the Broward College Radiation Therapy Program. Please note that there will not be points awarded for the POS 2041 National Government Course or the AMH 2020 History of the United States Course. Students must also be aware that taking this course requires the successful passing of the civics literacy exam. Please note the point total in relationship to the grades received. In deference to our military, five points are awarded for their active duty and honorably discharged veterans for their military service. There is a sequential method to ensure a point tiebreaker, the first being those students completing the medical terminology course receive the two points to their total points. In the event of an equivalent point tie, students will be ranked after all points are awarded, then the overall GPA will be used. All applications will be reviewed based on published admissions selection criteria and not in the order in which they were received by the Health Science Admissions Office. Please note that prerequisite courses in progress after the application deadline will not be awarded points. The admissions department evaluates all applications and renders its decision via the student's Broward College email. The admissions department will begin sending out student notifications towards the end of May. It is advised that students check their Broward College email for admissions notifications of program acceptance. Upon receiving the acceptance into the radiation therapy program, students will be invited to attend a pre-admissions orientation. The pre-admissions orientation will apprise students of all the paperwork and requirements for entry into the program. This includes drug testing, background check, 
fingerprinting, and health records. American Data Bank's Complio system streamlines the compliance process by equipping students with a single reportable HIPAA compliant system that accommodates their screening requirements. This can include anything from court searches, drug screening, FBI fingerprinting, and employment or education verifications to health screening and health records. Complio organizes, tracks, communicates, and shares clinical requirements and information from one platform. It provides hospitals and clinical sites the tools to update requirements systematically with students. The Trajexis Report System provides a centralized clinical record keeping that tracks student reports through a fully integrated online clinical management system. This system allows students to clock in and out at their clinical site and tracks observations, performance, and evaluations on all clinical procedures. This slide captures the first year of the AS degree curriculum. Please note that due to the demand, most students have completed their prerequisites to ensure the most points for placement in the program. Students entering the program find that the first year is spent taking the radiation therapy courses. The second year of the AS degree program courses are concentrated in the radiation therapy material and procedures. Students who are successful will graduate at the end of June of their second year in the program. This slide demonstrates the approximate cost for American Data Bank Complio, Trajexis, course textbooks, and the licensing and application fees for the National Registry board examination taken upon graduation. There are additional costs related to the health science programs, which include but are not limited to the costs of the physical examinations, immunizations, liability insurance, uniform purchases, travel to clinical sites, and miscellaneous items needed for the classroom or clinical setting. The Carnegie Unit was accepted as the standard of measure of class time. The U.S. Department of Education defines the credit hour as one hour of classroom or direct faculty instruction and a minimum of two hours of out-of-class student work each week. Using this as a baseline, we can easily see that the following semesters become more taxing on student free time. This slide represents the spring term and time commitment of the AS degree program. This slide represents the summer term and time commitment of the Associate in Science degree program. This slide represents the fall term and time commitment of the Associate of Science degree program. This slide represents the spring term and time commitment of the Associate of Science degree program. This slide represents the summer term and time commitment of the Associate of Science degree program. Students who are successful in the second year of the summer term go on to graduate and are able to sit for the ARRT National Registry Board. Please note that all radiation therapy classes are taught on North Campus in Building 41. However, clinical practicums are offered in various medical facilities in Martin, Palm Beach, Broward, and Dade counties. Please note the following contact information for the Health Science Admissions Department, Health Science Advising Department, and the Radiation Therapy Program. Students should continue to check into the Health Science and Radiation Therapy Program websites for any changes in program structure or other important news and resources. It provides a permanent 
easily findable archive of the most important information about the program. Thank you for attending the Radiation Therapy Information Session. Should you have further questions regarding the program, admissions, or advising, please check the website or email the respective departments.